Hello everyone, Jessica Cobasi here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a dreamy photo using a texture and some basic adjustment layers. Right now, uh, what I have in my layer palette is a frequency separation um, setup right now. If you don't know how to do this, I have another tutorial, so go revisit. I'll probably have a link in my description, but um, I'm not going to go over this because I want to keep the length of this video uh, kind of short so um, if you want to learn how I'm how I set this up just go to my previous tutorials right now I'm just going to clean up the skin just to kind of prep it for um, the effect um, I'm not gonna go too crazy I just want to clean it up just a bit so oh and if you are wondering this is a photo that I took so and I know someone asked me um, if I offered these images unfortunately I do not because I'm very paranoid of them being stolen and being used for like in a billboard in, in another country or something like that. So unfortunately, I do not provide those pictures, although in the future, I will probably be uh, doing stock photos. So again, right now, I'm just doing a very simple light retouch, nothing too crazy. Um, if you notice, the eyes are kind of dark. I'm probably going to lighten those up in just a second. I'm using the healing brush just to go over all the tiny spots on her face. And again, I'm not she's not gonna look totally airbrushed and she's she's gonna still have her pores, which are great. You don't wanna over retouch your pictures. But just stuff that is that might be distracting, you know what I mean? See that that's pretty good to me. And also we can go in and fix it up later, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not gonna do too crazy. But I mean I always like to show my process from beginning to end. So I will show you guys this part of it too. As far as the eyes go, you can tackle this in a number of ways. You can make a new layer. Now you can make your default color yeah, uh, white and you can literally just use a default brush see I don't have any special brushes here except the uh, the bottom ones but those are grunge brushes that I made um, I'm gonna make this opacity to 11% and I'm just gonna go over that and just going over that you can see oh it's already popping it out and again I'm using a frequency separation technique so I would definitely look into that and I like to use it underneath my texture layer but just kind of popping it out just a tiny bit you don't want her to look like she's from x-men and i always use that joke but <laughs> it really is true you don't want it to look too fake so let's zoom out and see it looks pretty good and i might just add another layer and set it to overlay and just kind of go over the middle of the eye and that's kind of bothering me but it's okay I will survive. There we go. So again, just tiny bit of um sh not shadow uh, light added. I'm gonna go over the eye area just using the color white and a soft brush at 11% opacity. And again, I do not go crazy with my opacity. I know some people have like a million percent, but I honestly, most of the time, I'm using. 11%. That's like my magic number. Like if I was to gamble, that's the number I would use. Well, I've never gambled actually, so I don't know. If you guys go if you guys go to the casino, just use that number. Okay. So, now that we kind of have a good base to begin with, again, very soft retouch. I'm going to save this. And we will begin the actual photo effect. So, First, I'm not liking this background here, so what we're going to do is actually duplicate the background so that it's this nice purple background here. So with, again, my brush, I'm going to set this hardness to about 35. Let's see how that works. Opacity, you can keep it at 88 for now. You can always change it. Now, literally, what I'm going to do is go to the Clone Stamp Tool, hold Alt until this little guy comes up this arrow thing hold where I want it and then as you can see it's just pasting it and you do want to make this on a new layer you, you do not want to make this on the same layer 
that is Photoshop suicide, do not do that. Just make everything on a new layer because you have more control like that. Um, the way you make a new layer is Command Shift N. I'm not sure what it is in Windows. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sure it's like Control. I'm sure it's like Control N or something. So make a new layer, and we're using this layer as the little duplicate layer. So we're just gonna go ahead and very lightly just go over this area. And you, if you keep going down, it's gonna eventually stop. Well, actually, I got lucky. But um, you want to make sure it's not a side area because if you take the like the side close to the edge, it's going to create an edge. So you want to take right in the middle and kind of sample from different areas. And I'm going to go ahead and go over this way. And don't worry if it's looking really messy and fake. We're going to fix that just in just a bit. Okay, let's just go over. See, it's making that side thing, which I hate. So just go over, there we go. So now I'm going to fix all this and make it nice and pretty. There we go. You can add like little, you don't want it to be too repetitive, but I'm gonna add a mask now. And again, I have to a, tu a tutorial on, I sound like I'm a foreigner. Um, I have a tutorial on how to use masks, so if you don't know how to use them, I'm going to add another link to that too. I'm just going to, this whole video is going to be a bunch of links. Um, when you select your mask, make sure that it is on, let's see, I'm not going to lie, I don't know which, there we go. Make sure that it is on black. Opacity is at 100%. Now we're just going to lower this opacity just so we can see where she's being outlined. And I like to just go over this area because we are simply erasing. I'll show you guys. And we can add by going back to white and we can erase again. But see this hand area that looks kind of funky. So there we go. We just want to make sure this is all good. There we go. You could make it so that it kind of overlaps your hand but it's just really your preference you could do it something like that if you wanted that could work too but just to kind of go around some of these edges especially her hair too there we go so then it looks pretty good and now we are going to make a new layer and using the brush light brush tool, we're going to copy this nice purple color. Again, we're just using a round brush. I think that's pretty much all I use now. Um, round brush. Make it about well, just make it so that's you know larger than her head. And we are I'm gonna set this layer to screen. And I'm just gonna. Actually, I'm sorry, I have to put the opacity down a little bit. So 55%. Just gonna lightly go over some areas. Again, using just a purple color, round brush. The round brush, the hardness is at 5%, and, and the whole layer is at the screen. So just going over that very lightly. Okay, and then we are going to make another layer and we're going to set this to overlay. Same thing, we're not changing anything, just setting it to overlay. I'm just going to color in over, over those nice spots, make them pop more a little, just make them pop a little more. Okay, and now we are going to make a gradient and we're going to pick a nice yellow orange color. And I'm sorry if I'm going too fast. Sometimes I forget I'm making a tutorial. Um, you just select this bottom thing where it's a solid color. You can go to gradient. And gradient fill, just set it to this orange color. And if you don't have an orange color like this, just go to a transparent one and just fill it in. And just get rid of Just make the opacity 100. And then just fill it in with an orange color. 
So you're going to press OK. And then you are going to change the style from linear to radial. And you're going to set this around here. You can move it, which is kind of cool. So you can move it and press OK. Now set this to screen and set it to 41% or 45. That's fine too. And what's nice about this is you can simply click this twice and just move it around anywhere you want. So I always like to use the gradients. And we are going to duplicate this same layer, Command J for duplicate. And I'm just going to select this, double click it again, and drag it over. And kind of just change the position of it. Add it over here. There we go. Okay, and I'm just going to be adding in one more um, color bubble layer. So I'm going to go to, um, I'm just going to actually make a new layer. And then just color sample, a nice purple color. Set the layer to screen and lightly go over it. It's at around 44%. So just slightly going over near her face area right here. We can always add more later, but I'm just lightly going over this. And now I'm actually going to paste in um, a texture that I made. You can find this texture at violetspell.com under resources. So I'm going to paste this um, texture in. This is like a nebula dust texture that I created. So I'm going to actually set this thing to overlay. And these kind of textures are really nice because you can use them um, in a lot of different ways. You don't have to just use them for graphic design. I'm going to set this to about 85%. Now afterwards, I'm going to go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and Hue Saturation. We're going to set this. Sorry, I keep moving these so much. I'm going to set this to negative 45 for the hue. And just a tiny bit of saturation. Let's just do negative 3 for now. And you're going to set this to Screen. And go on over to about 21%. Just a tiny bit right there. And then I'm going to go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Selective Color. Um, we're going to do negative 100 for Cyan and then negative 37 for Magenta. For Yellow is going to be 100 and Black is going to be negative 79. So it's going to give us a nice look here. And last I'm just going to go to Yellow and then add 100. Um, let's see, let's add some more contrast. If you go to layer, new adjustment layer, black and white, you can kind of add new adjustment, um, new adjustment, you can kind of add some more contrast by lowering reds and setting the entire layer, layer to overlay. I'm not going to go too crazy with this because I do want to keep it still. Um, I like, I like the way it is now, I just want it to pop a little more. Um, you can also add some more vibrance. Hiring the vibrance right there. Yeah, I'm sorry, I went to layer, new adjustment layer, vibrance to do that. And just by seeing um, what the layers have done, I, I really like um, how it turned out. I'm just going to do one last thing by going to the curves layer. Just very slight adjustments, nothing crazy. I'm going to go on over to blue. I'm sorry, I know I like do steps without notification but literally what I did is just went to RGB and just slightly altered that just a little bit. I probably will do that a bit more. There we go. And then blue you can really get crazy with blue but I'm not going to. Um, so just to kind of give it like a nice tone. I added some more um, yellow in there as well. So to end, I'm going to make one last layer, and I'm going to actually have to go ahead and choose like a nice rose color. Set to overlay. Really lightly though, again, I do not want to make this too crazy. And just going over it very slightly, and see how it looks at the screen. And there you have it. I hope you guys liked this tutorial and um, learned something. Please comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.